I'm Matt Mantikas. My name is Trevor Smith. My name is Ella Verhees. I'm on Team Shuttle. I'm on Team Shuttle. I am on Team 6 Shuttle. So the inspiration behind our product was that a commuter needs the organizational capabilities to go through their day. Someone who's commuting, whether it's a student or a professional, they have a multitude of items, whether it's their computer, their laptop, their notebook, and they also generally have workout apparel. A lot of people are working out during the day. In order for everything to fit into one bag, they need a way to organize their workout clothes and number one, keep it organized, but number two, keep it separate so that when it's dirty post-workout, it's not contaminating the rest of the bag. So we initially started out with a lot of product creation, um, ideation, ideas in our design thinking class, trying to figure out, you know, is this really a problem that needs to be solved? Um, and then it moved into um, maybe some more consumer research, diving into who our consumer is, um, but then also looking more into the actual product development process. So prototyping, um, playing with materials, textiles, um, any sort of functionality and in, in design elements um, and moving forward with that. The hardest part was going from design to prototype. All of us in the group had different ideas of what we thought that the product was gonna look like. So when we were actually cutting material and creating the first prototype, um, there was a lot of different ideas going together and no one, it, it was really hard for us to express exactly what we wanted to say without just doing it ourselves. So we kind of had to um, work back from that and articulate what we were thinking as a group rather than just going off individually and making what we wanted to make. Towards the second or third prototype, we really came together as a team and relied on uh, each other's strengths and kind of decided what ideas our consumer really, really wanted to see in the product. Definitely, definitely the lab, uh, being able to tinker in the lab and use any sort of materials, whether it's like a, a DWR finish or maybe something a little stretchier, um, like a mesh um, that we can actually kind of feel and um, use in our prototypes. Um, having those in the lab and access to the sewing machines, but also our lab instructors um, have been great just because they can teach us about different methods of construction or make uh, and really help us refine our product and make it the best possible thing. I think the most important thing I've learned is that the consumer always needs to come first and we always need to think about that. Most of the time at any company, we're not going to be the consumer. So trying to see everything from the consumer's eyes and then validating that with actual consumers is super important. And it's something that, you know, we could do more of. Um, but yeah, that's been the most eye-opening thing about the whole process. I think the, the best part of the process was getting to tinker in the lab um, with any type of prototyping. Um, we got pretty creative. Um, we tried to create like a, a hard shell prototype using um, some leftover plywood in the, the lab and it, it didn't turn out super well, but we got an idea of maybe what one of our, um, our product pieces, like an element to it, um, how that would work. So it was just a lot of fun to basically throw anything out there um, try and construct it because there's no wrong answer um, and that's a big big part of this process. You're going to constantly iterate on it um, but at, at, in the end you're going to have so many different prototypes that um, won't even look like what your end goal is for the product um, that you can really mess around with, with the design and the, the construction or the materials and um, see what's going to work and what isn't. In order to receive the first sample from the factory, you have to finalize your prototype. Once your prototype is finalized, you put that into the tech pack. The tech pack is basically exactly what you want the factory cr to create, so you have to spend a lot of time making sure it's absolutely perfect before you send it to the factory. Once it's sent to the factory, they usually come back with a couple of questions, um, maybe to highlight certain areas or about the construction, so you have to be diligent on responding to those emails. 
Sometimes they'll send you pictures of the process. In our case, they didn't. They just sent us the sample, so it kind of arrived unexpectedly. And then once you receive that sample, you can further update the tech pack and get a second sample. So our product is the Shuttle Endeavor Pack. It is a packing sleeve that inserts into your backpack for when you go to work. It's antimicrobial, it's structured, so it slides in and out of a bag the way a laptop would. We're also adding in different pockets just so that you can hold um, any accessory, whether it's your phone or it's jewelry, um, really anything you need to kind of keep secure and locked down in the pack and keep it away from your sweaty clothes. We wanted to create an easier way for someone to carry the pack with them when going to and from their workout. Um, so this strap actually unravels from the back of the pack uh, in a little pouch and actually hooks on or snaps to the other end of the pack and creates like a crossbody sleeve just to make it uh, more accessible and easier to carry for the consumer um, because if they don't want to take their regular work bag or tow with them to the gym, they can just throw this um, across their body and uh, head out to the gym for the day.